Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing something a little different. I am doing a video on how to make a vision board slash making a vision board. So guys, last year I made a vision board and I gotta tell you, I feel like a lot of little things connected to the vision board actually happened. So I'm making another one this time. Now granted, it's already July. I probably should have made this in January, but it's never too late, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my process for making a vision board. But before I get to that, let me talk a little bit about what happened with my last vision board to now. So here is a photo of my last vision board. If you guys see on the left of the vision board, there is a map of Manhattan, New York. So what ended up happening is I ended up getting proposed to in New York, which was super awesome. Another thing that you can see kind of in the middle is there is a host thing, and then it says there's the WWE logo, and then there's a word that says create. I originally posted this because I really wanted to advance my hosting career. And so one of the cool things that happened to me was I was able to cover all of these wrestling events during WrestleMania weekend in New York. And um, one of those things included working with WWE and able being able to attend all of their events. Then to the right there is this super large uh, picture of Taylor Swift. So the most awesome thing that happened to me last year also was that me and my sister got promoted to the snake pit at the Reputation Tour and Taylor Swift finally noticed me for the first time ever. So I don't know if that was tied into this vision board or not, but that's in there as well. So because of all of the cool things that happened to me with this last vision board, I was like, I gotta give it a whirl and do this again. So real quick, if you guys are gonna be making a vision board, here are some of the things that you need. So the first thing that you need is a board itself. So I'm using kind of like this regular paper one, you can use a thicker one. So I'm using a paper one because I'm gonna put it up against my wall. If I was gonna be placing it sort of on the ground, then I would suggest you guys use a bigger, thicker board. And last last vision board, I went with the color pink. So this time I decided to go with yellow because I'm hoping for a very bright future. <laughs> the next items that you guys need for your vision board are some magazines and some stickers. So I went and just bought two magazines at the store because I don't like to cut up my Taylor Swift magazines because the last thing I want is pages falling out. So I didn't want to get into those. So I just bought two new magazines that I wouldn't mind cutting up. Then I kind of have some stickers lying around the house. So I just connected, collected the ones that I had already, put them in this little, um, plastic transparency thing and I'm gonna be using the stickers as well and then last but not least the last obviously tape and scissors so the number one thing that you should consider when making your vision board is what do you want to happen what do you want to see happen in your life in your career and your relationships what do you want so my thing is I kind of I kind of want like somewhat the similar things from my last vision board but a step higher so let's go ahead and see what I can find. So one of the things that I look for when I'm scouring through pictures and magazines is words. I like to find words that I think could correlate to what I would like to happen during the year. Also, the other thing that I look for is cool images, images that sort of speak to me. Now, once you've already cut out all your pictures, the best thing to do is start organizing them how you would want them, and then if you still need more stuff, you can go back and find some more and relook through the magazines. And then also, don't forget to add the stickers. One of my tips for when you're designing your vision board is to go ahead and put the larger pictures in first. So sort of put the big the big pictures first and then work around it. Then do then add the words and then add the smaller pictures. And then you can also break it off into sections. So I like to do mine sort of in different sections but then intertwined at the same time. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So there you have it. This is my vision board right over here. Uh, some of the things that I added are, oh my gosh, so many. Okay, so over here, we'll start down here. This is my Taylor section right here. This is like me wanting to meet Taylor Swift eventually. Taylor, be here. You're on my vision board. 
Um, let's see, there's a bunch of encouraging words literally everywhere, things that I think connect to me or I would like to connect to me. Um, there's all these pictures of all these like successful career women um, that I thought were, looked confident, I like their style or I like where they're at, so I decided to post their pictures up here uh, too, including like a desk picture, like that's basically to, supposed to like symbolize work. So a lot of these things are symbols obviously for something else. Over here, down here, in this section, this is like the fitness health section. This is like my goals personally, like with my body and stuff like that. Um, I even put a bikini. <laughs> okay, and then um, over here in this section, this is like my travel, have fun, live your life, take your chance section. Um, so yeah, so it's literally Taylor section, health and fitness section, work section, work section and like travel section right over here. Um, so yeah, this is my vision board. All right guys, um, seriously, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing how I made my vision board. And even better, I really hope that I inspired a few of you guys to make a vision board. Um, honestly, they're so much fun to make and you really, really get into it. Um, some last minute tips, I highly suggest that, oh, I forgot to add stickers, okay. <laughs> I'll probably do that afterwards. <laughs> All right. Um, I highly suggest you guys at least have three magazines. I ended up grabbing another magazine because I felt like I didn't have enough pictures with the first two magazines. Um, so I went ahead and found like another magazine to go ahead and do so. I also think you guys should pick like those fashion magazines. They tend to have more variety than some of the other magazines I picked. They didn't have as much of a variety. Um, and I guess that's kind of it. I don't think if I have any other tips, I think I've already said them. I guess just be true to yourself, guys. Don't put anything just because you think you have to or you want to be cool or whatever. Like, this is true to you and who you want to be. And honestly, share it. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family because um, the more you tell people what you want to accomplish, like, you essentially start accomplishing those things eventually. Anyways, guys, before I go, if you liked my vision board video, Please do not forget to give this video a like as always. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting a bunch of random videos. So make sure you guys subscribe and are ready for that. Also, let me know what you guys think of my lover t-shirt. Actually, you guys might see it in another video first. I'm recording a bunch of videos today. <laughs> Alright guys, that was just a little behind the scenes. But other than that guys, thank you so much for tuning in as always. And I will see you guys later. Bye!